Dan lagi perkembangan persidangan Smart Living and Innovation Caucus League 2018, anjuran Sarawak ini berlangsung pagi ini dengan ucapan pembukaan oleh Menteri Tenaga Teknologi Sains Perubahan Iklim dalam sekitar Yo Bin Yin. Dalam ucapan beliau, uh, Yo Bin Yin berkongsi mengenai cabaran masa depan teknologi dan tanggungjawab yang perlu dipegang oleh kerajaan Malaysia Baharu. It is more than just smart city. It is about changing life. So whatever technologies, whatever concepts, whatever policies that we are going to discuss, I would like to encourage all of the people here thinking through the lens of how do I change the life of the people? How do I make people with this policy and with this technology have a better life? People often ask me, what technology will prevail? Right? What kind of technology will prevail and what kind of technology will eventually be the technology of the future? You are a science and technology minister. Probably you will know more. A Academy of Science Malaysia under the Ministry of Science and Technology, in fact, has actually had a technological trend. By, um, it is entitled Envisioning Malaysia 2015. It actually predicts what kind of technology will happen uh, from now until 2050. But I would just want to say this. We can predict about many, many things. But tomorrow or the day after, when there is a disruptive technology, everything that we predict probably will be disrupted. And we are living in such a world where things are moving so fast. Needs are arising every day. Today, we talk about increased urbanization. Tomorrow, we talk about flash flood in Penang. The day after, we say that uh, there is this low-cost flat all around in, that is under, um, under maintenance. We have a lot of problem in the urban. But at the end of the day, it is not about the technology. It is more than about the technology. So whenever people ask me, what do you see future technologies to change people's life? I say, Regardless of what technology, the government role is to build an ecosystem.